So, hello, hello. Hope you're having a good day. All right, so file four, we got a couple of mods here. The Institute Armor Replacer and the Institute Weapon Replacer. These two are tied together. I believe you really need the armor replacer for the weapon replacer thing to work out correctly. Oh, well actually it says that. You will need to download the Institute Armor Replacer for everything to work properly. It kind of makes sense. Um, they didn't make it an absolute requirement, but it looks like if you try to do it without this, you're going to be in poor shape. So, um, it does require the AWKCR to work properly, which I have up here. If we scroll up, see, there we go. I have it. I have the all DLC version. Um, okay, so let's head back down. So we're basically, basically going to be looking at both of these at the same time. Because they do go together. This, the big one, the armor replacer, is like the, it's like the big thing it has the big mod it has most of all the stuff and then this was just the weapons replacer so it's that's why it's significantly smaller um so anyway i have jenny she's bored again and in sanctuary she always looks bored or maybe she's just too cool for me maybe that's the problem yeah that's probably it she's probably just too cool to be hanging around with me all right so let's go into our workshop Oh, here's a good clear spot. We'll just build out here. So we're going to come to crafting. And we're going to come in here and we're going to look at tables. And we're looking for basically the clone army one. This is it. Clone armory dispenser. <coughs> Pardon me. The clone armory dispenser. So you just build that. Ta-da. Now... Mind you, there's more to this mod, I, and I should have said this. This mod, it actually does... Let's hop out of this for a minute. Let's go back, and let's read the, read the words here. Basically, it is replacing <clears throat> the Institute um, armor that you would usually see those people using. All right, here we go. So it's going to replace their armor with this clone um, clone trooper style of armor. Now, I have not seen this in the game yet. I'm, I'm working on getting there with John so that we can see this. Um, but this, this is what is supposed to happen. We can come back and reevaluate this at that time when I run into that. And the same with these weapons. The Institute weapons are supposed to be replaced with these weapons. But the modder was... Um, thoughtful enough to give you your own dispenser. Basically a crafting table, but, you know, however you want to think of it. Um, it doesn't require anything to make these things. You can just, let's just make something. Um, let's see, is there anything? I don't know if there's huge differences in these. We'll just make a few. And then we'll go down and look for something like the elite is the elite core. We'll see if there's any difference here. Let's just have some fun with this. Um, I'm looking for something different. Oh, they have backpacks and holsters. And this is a prop only. Immune immune to fall damage while wearing this. Well, that's cool. That's. Um, These are pauldrons. We'll just have to try them out and see what we think. I don't know what they are, really. I mean, I'm, I'm going to go with whatever it says it is. Django Fett Mask. Okay, we'll try that. Um, phase 2 micro, but I guess that's binoculars. That's a visor. Phase 1, but we'll just try some of these things out. Clone Heroes. Oh, these are male only. I did not bring a male only because... I didn't do this with John. Hmm, we could load up John and do this, though. So. 
officers. Oh, okay, we can do an officer, and this is an alt that's female only. Okay, so we'll try those. Let's try those first, and then we can always, we could switch to John and try some of these items out. Why is she stuck? There we go. That was, oh, she's invisible. Oh, no, there we are. Wow, I thought I lost her. Anyway, I am not accustomed to... I don't have enough light here. Okay, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to create some light. So, pardon me for just a moment. We're going to create some light so that we can see her better. And we won't, I know, I could simply do the weight, couldn't I? But this is a bit more fun. Stupid, perhaps, but fun, meh, kind of. Eh, in a limited way, I know, yeah. I understand. But we have a better lit area. And I think that'll do it. So now we have a better lit area. So we can try some of these things out. You know, I hate the way they change my my distance. Oh, I don't want to go back into that. Yep, it's hard to... Let me go over here for a minute. I like to have a certain distance between me and my character. The camera and the character. Dun, dun, dun. It's hard to do that in a settlement. You have to get outside the settlement area and then you can fix it. Ta-da! There we go. Now we'll be able to see her better. So, <laughs> this is our lit stage. That looks kind of funny. But that's alright. I'm easily amused. So that's a good thing, I guess. Most of the times it's a good thing. You may not always think it's a good thing, and I understand. That's It's alright. Um, okay, so I still have a bunch of junk from previous testing, so we're going to have to scroll down. I've got to get rid of some of this stuff. Let's try the Clown Officer uniform with the hat. got to have the hat, right? Alright, so that's the Clown Officer uniform. Let's push her out this way a little bit. Okay. And that's with the hat. How does that look without the hat? The hat looks kind of dorky. Well, maybe it's just the uniform that looks dorky. Let's try the female only. Her hands disappeared. Yeah, her hands disappeared. Uh, actually, I think her hands disappeared in both. Matter of fact, her whole arm disappears. I'm not sure if it's that big a deal. Anyway, so let's see how the Colon Trooper armor looks. Alright, that looks alright. We need a hat, though. Hold on. Ah, uh, where, where did they put the... Okay, they must have named the helmet drastically different. Which is too bad. Well, we can try the Django Fett mask while we're here. Okay, that does not work. <laughs> Your head goes invisible. Um, okay, uh, maybe that works with something else. Hold on a minute. All right, let's try. They did. They named the helmets drastically different, which is too bad. Now, there you go, though. Now you look like a clone trooper. I wonder what the difference in this helmet is. Oh, it's got the green on it. Okay. A phase two helmet. Is it drastically different? Oh, no, I see. We're heading more towards the stormtrooper look, though. And then this phase two helmet. Yep. Almost looks like, um, do you remember the, um, the Empire Pilot helmet? It looks kind of like that. Oh, purple. That's nice. Nice and colorful. Nothing wrong with that. Let's try the Micro Binox. 
that are attached to your head. What if you're not wearing a helmet? Just humor me for a moment. Okay, well, I guess you can still wear them without the helmet. That answers that question. What about the visor? You can wear the visor. Would it make more sense with the helmet? <clears throat> Let's see if it looks better with the helmet. Um, well, yes, it does look better with the helmet. I think it was intended to be used with the helmet. Um, is it perfect? Probably not. The phase one visor, that's a little smaller visor. Yeah, I think I prefer the helmet without the extra stuff like that. So let me go back. Okay, so that was all the helmets we tried. I'm going to take that stupid visor off. See, I'm already calling it stupid. I didn't like the visor very much. Let's go with one of the black and white helmets. That will do. Okay. So now let's go back and we'll try some of the different armors and see if we notice the difference. Um, wow. We, okay, here we are. Good. All right. So let's try this armor for the 187th. Oh, this is the purple. Nice. So that means some of those had some different colors, and I missed out on that. Okay, I apologize. I, those were the free games. I guess I automatically had them on download. <laughs> anyway, um, so... I always get the free games, even if I don't. Sometimes I, I have free games from a few years, from, I don't know, whenever they started this program, and I, I, don't, I have not played them yet. All right, so, green company, so I imagine, yes, we got some green going on there. Just on the arms, though. Hmm, interesting choice, nothing bad. And this is the backpack, let's see what that looks like. Okay. The Clone Trooper holsters. The holsters. There's some clipping. There's no gun in the holsters. Hmm. I'm not sure about that. This is a J12 prop only. Oh, okay. It's a jump pack kind of thing. Or, uh... What's the other thing you would call it? Not just a jump pack, but a jet pack. Um, okay. So that's like a shoulder thing. And another, see, I don't like these because they're they're lopsided. They're not symmetrical. It's it drives me crazy. I have to have symmetrical. I'm sorry. Oh, these will never match. I I will never be able to use them. <laughs> it's my craziness. It's like no, it's not symmetrical. I cannot use it. At least this little prop, the little jump pack or jet pack. At least it looks good and is symmetrical. <clears throat> so the holsters eh, I wasn't really impressed with the holsters not to be mean it's just they had no weapons and they clip with your hands they didn't look that great uh, but most of this overall looks good now what I'm missing here is weapons where are the weapons guys hold on this is supposed to be an armory where are our weapons what's the Okay, I'm, I'm okay with armor. That's cool. And I understand you have different armors, which is which is nice. We have specialist armor. And I guess we can look at that. But anyway, I'm, I'm really looking for weapons. And I'm not seeing weapons. And those are male only. Let's see now. This was supposed to be accessories. Maybe I missed weapons. Let's go back up. No, I do not see weapons. Alright, I do not see weapons. Um... Hmm, so this was the armory. Let me go into the build thing here. Maybe the weapons really only show up 
that would be kind of sad, but maybe the weapons really only show up at the Institute for replaced things. You know, uh, it's a weapons replacer. Maybe it does not have. Maybe they did not do a crafting table for it. In that case, that would really make this just about the armory. Because there is no... That would mean there's no weapons table for this. So if that's my Halo stuff, we can go buy that. And that's Nuka-Cola stuff. Okay, um... Maybe we should just do a chem station and see if we can find yeah let's just do a simple chemistry station here and um, I'll get it out of the way and let's see if it has any of the weapons well there you go here's the weapons See, a smart person would have thought of this beforehand. <laughs> uh, what does that say about me? Well, I'm just going to take at least one from each number and try it out. Um, that looks fun. We'll try that. Oh, what's this? That looks fun. And that looks fun. So let's try some of these weapons out. I probably should have noticed that before at the chemistry station, but I didn't. So we're, we're just combining these two things up because they, they look like they would be fun to combine. The clone rocket armor, uh, rocket launcher. Is it invisible? It looks invisible. Hold on a second. So we may have a few issues. We may have found some issues here. I want to... Again, I want to pull back from my character a little bit. Sorry for this. It just, it's hard to do in a settlement. All right, so anyway. Yeah, this weapon is invisible. The results are not invisible. But look, the weapon is invisible. And I've, I've made a bloat fly mad at me. There we go. The other weapon is invisible. Okay, well, it still works, though. Hey, what's that over there? Well, that seems to have taken care of that. Alright, so, <laughs> so it works. Just be aware that this weapon, the clone rocket launcher, is invisible. Um, oh, hey, this one shows up. Let's go to first person so we can see it. Oh, there we go. Oh, you know what? I didn't try first person on the clone rocket. No, nope, it's still invisible. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, so... But this... Has oh here that it has a pretty good pew pew. Not bad, not bad. I have a lot of ammo for that. What does it use? I didn't look to see what ammo it uses. Oh, it uses cells. So let's try the pistol. Oh, I think the pistol fires quick. Very nice. Oh, sorry, wrong button. I wanted to try third person. All right, and you can actually see this one, which is a plus, right? It's nice to see your gun and know you have it. All right, so let's try the blaster shotgun. Oh, and again, you can see it. Is it? It fires at a weird angle, doesn't it? It looks weird. It probably works fine, though. Oh, I hit the wrong button again, sorry. Um, let's see. Yeah, so you can see the weapon. That's good. Yep. You can see it in first and third person. Alright. 
So let's try the Gatling laser. Was that one of theirs? No. <clears throat> let's try the Vulcan. Oh. it both ways, third and first person. And I imagine, is this more of a, it's a little more of a sniper. I don't see anybody to snipe out there, which is, I guess, unfortunate I already killed them. <laughs> but, I didn't realize there was a raider shack out there. Um... Yeah, okay, so this is this is pretty cool. Um, we have one more to try, so let's give it a whirl. This is the rotary cannon. Okay, now it's not invisible, and it's not invisible. All right. And it takes a minute to spin up. This is the version of the mini gun basically. Very nice. And first person is about <laughs> the animations are maybe slightly off, but actually I think the uh, the weapons look pretty good except for the one invisible one. And um, so yeah, overall two good mods. A couple of um, odd issues like with uh, that one thing making your head invisible and then uh, that one invisible weapon. But overall I would say it's a winner. Uh, pretty fun. You could be your own clone trooper. Or, um, do you remember, what was the old game, Republic Commando? You could be, you could, you know, you could do your own Republic Commando type of thing. So that could be fun. And just remember, the weapons are actually on the chemistry station, which, if you actually think about it, I guess makes sense in this game. It's just that... The armor is actually not. The armor is actually in its own station here. I don't know. I like that, though. I like that dispenser. I've got one of those in John's game somewhere. Anyway, it's very cool. Um, all right, so let me show you the two mods again so we make sure we know what we're talking about. And you also pretty much know we're heading towards the end. So there's two convenient things about that. I am having some coffee, so pardon me. All right, so here we are, the Institute Armor Replacer and the Weapon Replacer. Uh, the Armor Replacer, now I'm not running into the Institute yet, but this should all work, hopefully, right? Um, but even if that part doesn't work, what I've shown you here is where you can craft both of these. You could run around as your own uh, clone trooper or Republic commando or, you know, whatever you would want to be. So, uh, the commando armor might truthfully be slightly different than the clone trooper, but not hugely. So that's why to my, to my mind, it would be close enough. Anyway, thanks for watching and I will catch you later.